Hello there, Internet. Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today, we're going to do another 12-year-old reaction to a champion release. As you guys can see, I literally just refreshed, and it's been out for like 59 seconds. E even though uh, it's probably more than that. But uh, I am going to officially proclaim myself as the 20th person who watched this video. Just saying, for the record. <laughs> Anyways, uh, before that, uh, keep yeah, I want to let you guys know that there's going to be a second upload today. I'm going to be back at it with gameplay videos. I know I haven't uploaded a deck in a long time. I've been waiting until the expansion, but you know, I'll explain a little bit in the video afterwards that I wanted to like get, get my deck building groove back on a little bit before the new cards hit, so I'm not super rusty. And I think I got a pretty neat video for today. I'm really happy with the deck, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But without further ado, let's watch this shit. All right. I'm, I'm just making sure I'm recording everything. Okay, good. <laughs> what do I want to fuck that up? All right, so Leona is the champion. Shocker. I mean, we, we saw the followers, uh, you know, teased yesterday. Uh, everybody knew it was going to be his champion. Plus, she appeared in, like, the cinematic as well, right? So, this is pretty much a given. So, let's take a look at it. Divine light shines within me. Four drop. Leona lights up her foes. She's Targon, by the way. Because we, we've seen a... Okay, let, let's just put it this she goes. Wait, Bask in the light's radiance. What's happening? Wait, wait. Divine light shines within me. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna pause it there because I have no idea what's going on. We saw Daybreak as a mechanic being introduced yesterday, which basically means that if it is the first card you play in a round, you get the extra effect from it. You trigger its effect, basically. It's like it's like a plunder version, right? Uh, it has like a little circle next to it as if it were some sort of skill. Uh, and it says, Leona's a 4-mana 3-5. Good stat line. The same one as Shen. Uh, really solid stat line for a 4-drop. Uh, I like it more than a 4-4, four, four, for example. Having that 5 health goes a long way, but you still have enough attack to block into Fearsomes. So that's pretty neat. All right. Daybreak stun the strongest enemy. I called this shit. She has two abilities in League of Legends that stun. So I, 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 I thought that... Wow, we could actually... Is, is, is Leona Yasuo potentially a thing? Okay, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, and level up. You've activated Daybreak four or more times. Seems very easy level up to achieve, actually. So she's looking really good from the get-go. She's the first one to play in. Strong, stun the strongest enemy. So kind of like an arachnoid sentry sort of effect. But on a much more resilient body. So I, I'm, I like her. Like First impressions, really good. Really neat. Bask in the light's radiance. It's a skill. It's a skill. Keep in mind, it's a skill so your opponent can react to it. Alright. Her allies are also stronger. When played at first light. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. Wait, 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 wait. Across the mountain. Carry her light. The dawn. Am I missing something? Bask in the Daybreak stunned the strongest enemy, but bask in the light's radiance. I've I've made I made mistakes in the past when looking over this because I I've like the turn has passed by but because there's so many zooming in with the camera I'm not sure whose turn is it if the turn is done but okay so he's getting the daybreak because this turn has passed and then he's playing the other one okay because <laughs> I yeah yeah all right all right just making sure I'm following it right because I it, it can be confusing at times the dawn has arrived carry her lights across the mountain carry your lights across the mountain. All right, what does she do? What does she do? Let's see that level up animation. Behold the divine power of the sun. Okay, that's pretty sick. 
When you activate another Daybreak, Strawn the strongest enemy! So every turn, every time you play, you stun the strongest enemy. Dude, Yasuo Leona could really be a thing! Dude, Yasuo Leona could be a thing! Wow. And the thing is, if you have that 5 drop on the board as well, every time you play a unit, you get a Daybreak effect. So every time you play a card, you stun, dude. That's wild. That's so wild. I do not believe I've been waiting for stun support in other regions Daylight beside of Noxus. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I love it. I love it. I Oh my god. I, I, I really... I really wanted this to happen, man. Like, I, I've been so... I love playing Yasuo, but you're always so tied to Noxus. Even though some people may tell you, oh, there's variants with the Masa running around, they're horseshit. <laughs> they're just absolute ass, okay? It's bad. Like, if you play Yasuo outside of Noxus, it's a bad deck. But now, with this, like, this continuous stun effect? Like, that's... Like, these two can work really well together. Okay, so let's actually go to, uh, to Twitter. And, uh, there we go. Let's take a look at the cards. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got Leona here. Leona's Morning Light. So that is her signature spell. It's a five-mana slow spell. Give allies plus two, plus two this round. Daybreak, activate all ally daybreak effects at once. Oh, my God. Dude, this could be, like, the version I'm, I'm still like in the Yasuo thought train by the way this could be like the the new like morning uh, sorry uh, not morning um uh intimidating roar this could be a very similar effect to that zenith blade three mana slow spell grant an ally plus one plus two and overwhelm daybreak draw a zenith blade oh so it replaces itself if it's the first card you play i i, I like the balancing behind this design I really like this card. It's pretty neat. Sunburst deals six to a unit. Daybreak instead. Silence it this round and deal six to it. Uh, yeah, that seems really bad. <laughs> That's that seems terrible. Not only that, it's it's like slow speed, so you can't even play this. Yeah, that, that seems atrocious. <laughs> this card is garbage. Uh, guiding touch burst speed uh, two mana spell heal an ally. Or your Nexus by two and draw one more health gain for Targon. And keep in mind, even though we've seen uh, Froyord and Shadow Isles reveal and Ionia as well, even though you would think this is like, it, it's kind of like uh, Demacia theme. No, she's actually Targon. So that means that if we're getting a total of seven champions this expansion, there are going to be some regions with no new champions introduced. That's, that's the first time we've ever been in that position. It's actually really interesting. But uh, Guiding Touch is honestly... It's pretty all right. Like it, it heals you. It doesn't heal you much, but you're paying like one more for a little bit less of a health gain than something like health potion. But you're replacing the card in your hand, right? As 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 long as we get like more and more resources to heal the nexus, so we can combat the potential aggro problem that this you know game tends to run into with uh, every new expansion. I'm all in for that. I'm all in for getting touch. I don't know how, you know. Relevant it's gonna be I think it's only truly gonna be relevant in a deck that can really benefit from playing a cheap uh, Cycling spell like this and or in a metagame where we have hyper aggressive strategies But I think with this, the direction of Targon, I think aggro is gonna be sitting on the bench for a while So this card won't be really too relevant, but the fact that it exists Sometimes you just need the card to exist in an environment you having the ability to uh, opt for it So that certain archetypes are more tamed down and you always have uh, access to that resource in case, you know, eventually the meta shifts in that direction, right? So I, I basically, having heal is good. Having multiple sources to heal in the game is very good. That's <laughs> the gist of what I was saying. I was uh, being a little bit convoluted there with my wording. Uh, Anyways, we have Leona here. I really, really like Leona uh, with Yasuo. Like, that's the first thing that comes to mind. And I am going to be sticking on that. Uh, thought pattern for a while. I think uh, I think this could be really really neat. I, I like Leona a lot. Morning Morning Light is really interesting. Uh, I don't know what to think about Zenith Blade. It's uh, 
it seems pretty decent. Like, it, it the, the granting overwhelm is nice, but keep in mind these are slow spells, right? So you can't really surprise. Like, I, I still think Might is definitely better than this. So I, I'm not, like, on the right side, I'm not really too... I mean, I like this existing, but I'm not really too excited about these cards. I don't think... I think Sunburst is... I think Sunburst is off, awful, right? Like, instead, silence it this round. What do you care about silence if you're going to kill it? I was just like a last breath effect, but still. It's... The fact that it's slow just really kills this card. But the left side, I am more in favor of. And now we can make use of this and take a look at the actual Daybreak cards, which were revealed yesterday. And uh, we can talk a little bit about them. Daybreak, uh, in case you don't know... And I should probably be moving my webcam at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move my overlay over here. I should probably design a new overlay anyways. Let's go over here. As we see, bonus, this is the first card you play in a round. We have the Solari Soldier, which gets plus one, plus one with Daybreak. You have the Shield Bearer, which is, mu is, is much better, in my opinion. Like, be becoming a 3-6 the turn it hits the board just basically gives you a free attack with this thing. Like, this is a solid unit to run, honestly. Just for the sake of leveling up uh, Leona. Uh, Sun Guardian, Daybreak, give me plus four, plus four this round with Overwhelm. This becomes an 8-7 with Overwhelm the moment it enters the board, which is a plus one, plus one uh, stat line over the Alpha Wild Claw, I believe is the name of the Feral Yard 7 drop. No, 6 drop. Sorry. So, I... I, I, I don't know how I feel about the Sun Guardian. It feels kind of bad, too, honestly. Um, I mean, it, is, it does represent a big hit when it comes down, but I, I don't think it's... Uh, that reliable of a card because the payoff that you're getting for playing this yeah, the, the turn you attack fine But then after that you have a 4-3. I mean then again uh, The health, you know, this thing is gonna be blocked anyways so You're gonna be sponging the hit, but you're gonna lose the ability to continue to threaten your opponent with this after you deal it But I mean maybe uh, having just a really high statted Overwhelm unit to go down on turn 6 is worth it, but I just don't really see it <coughs> that being the case to be completely honest and the uh, last but certainly not at least. I think this is the last one. <coughs> Sorry about that. Choking here. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that, that is. Uh, this card is very relevant. This card is actually really, really relevant and super vital to a potential could be a Daybreak uh, archetype. 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. Solid enough stat line for it to hold its own. Raven, the Daylight Spear, says Daybreak. Create a random Daybreak card in hand. It is always day for us which means that Daybreak no longer has the requirement for you to play the card uh, the first thing in a round, which means every Daybreak card that you play will get the Daybreak boost, and that goes a long way. Like, this card could make... Like, obviously, curving uh, into... What was your name? Raven. Curving into Raven into uh, Sun Guardian seems very tempting, very strong, but you have to curve into them. Otherwise, you kind of, like lose out on a lot, right? I still think this card is going to be super relevant, especially because uh, when you play this, uh, you... Okay, so let, let me go back to Leona, just to reference. But when you have Raven on the board, as it says here, Daybreak, uh, and when you play her, stun the strongest enemy. And then it's like, Daybreak, or when you activate another Daybreak, stun the strongest enemy. So if you have Raven on the board... Then every time you play something with Daybreak, you're stunning an enemy. And this, with Yasuo, can be just absolutely glorious. So I'm really, really excited for that combo. And I think uh, this 5-drop is absolutely vital for, for that potential archetype. And could be really, really, really strong in that sense. This is a champion that um, thematically, not thematically, sorry, like lore-wise, uh, design-wise, aesthetically, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Leona. I've said it before. I, I think she has a bit of a generic fantasy design. You know, I'm not too crazy about her, uh, the character or anything like that. You know, not gonna lie. But from a card perspective, like what she does and everything, she's one of the most interesting revealed so far to me. Like I cannot wait to try out uh, Targon, Ionia, Stun, Control, and I just really have fun having it. Yeah, Yasuo is like one of my favorite champions and I, I really want to test him out in a different light and pun intended, I guess, or not really, but <laughs> I'll stick with it. So that's basically it. That's all I gotta say. Um, some bad cards, honestly. Uh, I don't know, as a whole, how this Daybreak archetype is going to fit with other strategies, either. Uh, it's early to say. We'll have to look at the other cards as well. 
but Leona herself and uh, Ra Raven? I keep forgetting his, his name is so weird. It's Ravu, right? Or Ricardo. I'm going to call her R Ricardo. Raven, yeah. Raven is really, really good. Raven and the two drop are the highlights of these. Like the, uh, the shield bearer is nuts. Like a two mana three six is just nuts. Like if, if you have Raven on the board, you pay two mana, you get a three six on the body. That's just absurd how, how overstated that is. And I, I mean, obviously it's this round, right? But the fact that you get to attack with this, I, I just think this card is good. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overvaluing it, but I think shield bearer is also really neat. And Raven is a star, though. Raven and Leona can lead to some very, very nice things. And obviously, if you want to promote that uh, star archetype with Daybreak, you do need to incorporate other day Daybreak cards into it. So I'll be very interested to see what other Daybreak cards we get. And that's where I'll stop talking. What do you guys think about Leona? Uh, are you guys... Do you have any ideas besides Yasuo? If you were to build it with Yasuo, like, how would you approach it? I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. And like I said, stay tuned for another video going up later today with uh, a deck tech and gameplay. Like I said, it is a live recording. I'm getting back on that. And I have a bit of a mini update towards the end of that video as well, in case any of you are interested regarding Twitch and the likes. Uh, the end of the video, not the beginning though. So because people, some people just want to watch the video itself and don't really care about that stuff, right? So I uh, wanted to make sure I pointed that out. And yeah, excited for Leona, man. Excited for Yasuo. Just... It's it, like I, I I'm talking about Leona, but I'm not sure Yasuo more than anything. <laughs> this is like a Yasuo reveal for me. Regardless, it's it's really exciting. It's really cool times, and I honestly I really like the art of the card, and I love the stat line. Fantastic, uh, very easy to level up to. Really, really solid looking champion, and I can't wait to try her out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a solid day. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Frontera content. I'll see you guys tomorrow.